it, this is the first inaugural New York City Honey Week. Um, it really was built off of Honey Fest, which has been happening for a couple of years down in the Rockaways. I am also a beekeeper, <laughs> so that's kind of my, my passion, I guess. And uh, what I was just doing now was doing a little hive check to make sure that the hive was healthy, and then pulling frames out, and I put them into our observation hive. When the honey is ready to be cured, they cover it with a wax cap. So that's how, you, that's how a beekeeper will know that the honey is ready to harvest um, when you see all of that really kind of white wax on top of uh, the cells of the frame. You know, honey is a very local thing. Um, you know, it, the look and the taste and the smell all depends on the blooms that the bees harvested it from. So uh, that's why, you know, eating New York honey is going to taste very different than, you know, eating honey even just from outside the city or, you know, Long Island or wherever. The bees you know, really thrive on neglect. Uh, they have been doing this for, you know, thousands and thousands of years and uh, the beekeeper's role is really kind of just to let them do their thing and not interfere too much and just basically ensure their health. They're insects, yet they have such a complex social structure that they're sort of human-like in a way, like we can relate to them, you know, they all have different jobs, they play different roles, they work together. It's so complex and, and I think you know, that's what really kind of drew me to it.